Hello everyone, hello, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Uh, this video is going to be about, well, it's about me, it's about what's been going on and why there was a big gap, you know, uh, May time. The videos just sort of fell off a cliff. Um, well, as I said, I've referenced the scary stuff before and uh, I told you that the, the, the dentist found this stuff in my mouth, these white patches, and so the dentist found that stuff she said that it could be a autoimmune disease disorder and she referred me to the dental hospital now she said i may need a biopsis um she didn't even reference didn't even mention the scary stuff uh, i made the huge mistake of googling it when i got home and a few websites said that um these white patches could be an early sign of oral cancer which is scary that's the, that's the really scary stuff but the the thing in my favor is that both the dentist and the dental hospital aren't very worried um if they were worried and if they did think it was cancer hopefully touch wood they would you know see me sooner i'm still waiting for a letter i haven't even had a letter it could be another two months before they see me so you know, it's not urgent. She told me it's not urgent. The dentist, I mean. And when I rang up the dental hospital to see what was going on, because I'm worried, uh, they said it wasn't very urgent either. So, you know, it's a possible to touch wood. I'm completely overreacting. Uh, but either way, you know, I've, that's the anxiety over that is why I just couldn't film. I wasn't myself for about a month, but eventually i mean i'm still super anxious about it if you can't tell but eventually you've just got to get on with it you just got to live your life you know and i just i just kept going keep going um and it, it is scary but i will obviously keep you updated when i get uh about get more information but I, there's a few things like she said may need a biopsis and even then, a biopsis doesn't mean they think you have cancer. Uh, a, a biopsis checks for loads of different things. Uh, but it, it could be, there's tons of different stuff it could be. But the fact that it, one of those things is cancer is very scary. Um, a big like thing in my favour is that uh, one of the... I, all right, I did drink alcohol, and maybe more alcohol than I should have at my age. Uh, but I've never smoked a cigarette a day in my life. I've never, ever been interested in cigarettes. They've never seemed like a... Yeah, they're just yucky. But the, one of the biggest contributors to that type of cancer in your mouth is uh, smoking. Uh, and I've never smoked. That's just... But anyway, we, we've got, got to stay positive And I hope, you know, it's it's just terrifying. And... I sort of just made me question everything. Uh, I mean, the diet. I started this diet because I was worried that I was going to make it even worse. And that that seems to have scared me healthy, if that makes sense. Because the diet I'm on has improved everything. Uh, that's a whole separate video, which I plan to make because it's changed my life. But, you know, it, that stuff is still there and they need to check it. And I just... I can't, I can't let anxiety shut me down completely because I spent about a month lying in bed watching Family Guy. That was all I could really do. Uh, I just didn't feel like doing anything else. You know, my mind was completely shut off worrying about this one thing. And yeah, but we, you know, we stay hopeful. I'll keep you updated. And, I originally didn't want to make this video because I didn't want to jinx it, but I think that's a, might be a bit silly. Plus, that's just, you know, it's just a lot on my mind, and I will keep you updated. And I just wanted to uh, vent about it. Uh, I, you know, thoughts and prayers would be amazing, and I just oh, <laughs> got to hope for the best. But the fact they're not worried about it is a really good sign. Um, and it's, it's going to be scary going. I'm going to be... I mean, I was anxious when I had my operation last year, but this is a whole whole other level of being anxious and scared. Um, 
I plan to ask them. As soon as I go in there, I'm still going to say, do you think it's this? And, you know, it, it, it's just, oof, it's, it's scary. Uh, but I could ramble on for another 10 minutes. If you watched this far, uh, thanks for watching. I will definitely uh, do an update video once I know more about it. Uh, you guys mean the world to me. Uh, talking about things that have changed my life, YouTube and you guys are definitely up there. Uh, and I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone.